Okay, when presented with a question like this, um, you look at the mark allocation of 10 marks and then you read through the question and um, determine where those marks will be allocated. Now we're presented with three unknown metals, A, B and C, and we're told that we've got to uh, determine the order in which they are reduced. So we don't know where they actually are on the standard reduction potential table, but that's what we've got to identify. Now we're told the equipment we are um, able to use. We can use a voltmeter, electrical leads and clips and so on, and standard lab glassware and the typical range of chemicals in most laboratories. Now that will preclude the use of uh, hydrogen um, half cell, because that's not standard laboratory equipment. We're also told that we must use a label diagram to support the description, and then we're told um, that we've got to explain why we've used a particular uh, substances and equipment, and indicate what data we're going to collect and explain how that data will give the order of um, reduction. So the question is indicating many things that we've got to provide, and in the 10 marks we can see that uh, some of those marks will be allocated to each of the one of the things which we've been told to do. So the most obvious way of determining the order of reactivity would be to construct a galvanic cell. Now your galvanic cell can either be in a single beaker or in two beakers. So you would make one galvanic cell with electrodes A and B in the um, either the half cell or on either side of the voltmeter in the single cell. Repeat the same experiment, but this time have uh, electrode A connected to C in both of the arrangements. And do a final repetition of the um, experiment, but this time having electrodes B and C. That gives us all combinations of electrodes that are possible. Uh, usually when we use two half cells, uh, we'd have an electrolyte in each half cell which um, has the ions of the electrode present. But because these are three unknown metals, um, we, we have no access to what that electrolyte will be. So the suggestion would be to put in an electrolyte which is not going to interfere with the um, oxidation or reduction which is going to be occurring at each electrode. So I'd suggest the same sort of electrolyte as you would put in the salt bridge. So that would be an ammonium nitrate or a sodium or potassium nitrate, something along those lines. Now this electrolyte is essential because it allows the um, flow of charge between the electrodes within the, um, the cells and the electrons are flowing in one direction in the external circuit. So to complete the circuit you need ions in the electrolyte for that flow of charge to occur. Now once the cells are set up, uh, we'll be able to determine the magnitude of the um, voltage um, in the E0 difference between each electrode by looking at the voltmeter. And also we'll be looking at the direction of flow of electrons from whether the voltage reading on the voltmeter is positive or negative. Once we've got that, we should be able to give the order of our electrodes in terms of reactivity. Now if we're expected to be uh, providing a description of the experiment we're doing, these diagrams would have to be labelled. You'd have to uh, discuss things like um, variables which we might need to control, like the concentration of the, um, the electrolytes that you're using, uh, the, um, making sure that the electrodes are clean. Um, what else would you need to do? Um, oh, the surface area maybe of each electrode has to be consistent, temperature the same, and all those sorts of things. So like you'd normally do for a normal um, lab investigation. So let's now check what the marking key um, would follow and see if it matches what we've said. So I think the response we've got is, is uh, pretty good. Um, we've ticked that off. Uh, this one here with the electrolyte, I'm not too sure about having a chloride ion in there. I'd rather have nitrate or sulfate because I know they're not going to play any part in it. Uh, we need the electrolyte to complete the circuit. Uh, the voltmeter is going to be connected and measuring the potential difference. Uh, we need to collect the data from the voltmeter. A look at the direction of flow and the uh, size and the magnitude of the voltage, uh, label diagram as we've said, um, controlling the variables. Okay, so that answer that I was providing on the um, previous slide would have um, been allocated a mark of 10 out of 10.